Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make beautiful custom chip bags with Cricut Design Space and free template. And the supplies needed for this project are any color printer, thin photo paper. I am using Koala 30 pounds inject glossy photo paper. I love this paper to make the chip bags because it's thin, flexible, and resistant. Now, if you wish to crimp the bag openings, you are going to need a paper crimper, scissors or pinking shears, and a hot glue gun. Find the list and links of the supplies to use in the description below. I'm going to start working with the design in the Cricut Design Space program. But before, I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Before I start designing the chip bag, I will show you how to create your own QR or barcode. To create the QR or barcode, I use barcodegenerator.org. I will link it in the video description down below. Here you may create your very own QR or barcode using your email, website, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, etc. Select the type of code you wish to create, type your information, click on create barcode and you will have it on the right. Click on download and now you already have it on your computer. This is a standard barcode. Select QR code above and do the same process and ready. Now to download the free nutrition facts and free template, visit my blog. Find the link in the video description down below. When finished with the downloads, go to the Cricut Design Space program. Now I'm going to show you how to upload the images to the Cricut Canva. Go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse, Select the image you wish to insert, open it, select complex, continue, apply and continue, select the one that says print and cut, upload, select it, and add to the Canva. Do the same process for all the images that you need to upload to the canvas. Now select the template and resize it to 9.25 by 6.75 inches. This is the biggest you can print on a letter size paper using Cricut Design Space. Now we're going to start designing the custom chip bag. Click on shapes and insert a square. Unlock it and resize it to 9.25 by 0 0.6 and place it on top of the template. To change the color, click on Operation and select the color of your choice. Now I'm going to add pictures, text, the nutrition facts and the barcodes. There are two ways we can add images to the chip bag. A picture that covers all page like this one or with small picture like this other one. To this one, you can add background with color or design. I'm going to add this picture to this template. I downloaded this picture from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to leave you the link in the video description down below in case you would like to use it. Pick the design according to the occasion. There are several sites where you can buy beautiful images. Also, there are sites that offer free downloads. Now I'm going to add text. Click on the T on the left and start typing. Resize it. 
Now to change the font, click on font. And if you pay the membership, click on Cricut. If you don't, click on System. There you will find the fonts that you already have on your computer. I'm going to use one that is called Artist. This one is from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to link all the fonts in the description down below. You can leave it like that or you may curve it. Click on Curve and curve it to your liking. Now I'm going to add text on the bottom. This other font is called Agnostic Mirosa, also from Creative Fabrica. Now I'm going to work on the size. When we finish customizing, we're going to remove the template. You could print it like this, or you may add a background. To add a background, click on Shapes and insert a square. Click on the lock and resize it to 9.25 by 5.55. Go to Arrange and send it to the back. Now go to Operation and change the color. Also, you can add a background with pattern. Select the area, go to Operation. Instead of Cut, change it to Print then Cut. Click on the color block and instead of color, you are going to select Pattern. You can use any of the patterns that Cricut Design Space has, or you can add your own pattern. I'm going to add this one that I just uploaded. Now click on Edit Pattern and resize it to your liking. Now it already has a background with pattern. I'm going to show you really quick how you can add patterns to your Cricut Design Space program. Go to Upload, instead of Image, select Pattern Fill. Upload Pattern, Browse, select the image, open it, Upload, go to the Canva, go to Operation, click on the color block, and there you will find the pattern that you just uploaded. Now this design is ready to be printed. Or you can add more details on top and bottom if you wish. But before printing, we have to select all and click on flatten. Make sure it measures 9.25 by 6.75. Then click on make it. Continue, send to printer, remove the bleed, click on use system dialog, click on print, select the printer you are going to use, click on preferences, select photo printing, on media type you are going to select glossy photo paper if you are using glossy photo paper or matte if you are using matte photo paper. On quality, you are going to select high. Make sure it's on letter size, click OK, then print. And here are the printing to start assembling the chip bags. This is the one printed with glossy photo paper. This one is the 30 pound glossy photo paper from Koala. I also wanted to say that if you don't have 
photo paper you can print in regular paper. It's not glossy, but the colors still look beautiful. I'm going to cut on one side using scissors or a guillotine. This printing will wrap one ounce chip bags. And here we have the cute custom chip bags designed with Cricut Design Space. If you would like to learn how to create bigger bags, I invite you to watch my tutorial where I show you how to design them with Canva. I also have a tutorial where I show you how to customize Caprison pouches. Find the links in the video description down below. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.